Hello guys and welcome to Terraria here at Pack Rat here once again. Um, oh, I've been busy. Okay, so let me see if I can clear out a few things first while I'm talking to you guys about what I've been up to. So I've been... Last time we played, I did say there was something specifically that I wanted to do. I wanted to specifically see if I could work on a fishing area. And I have... Now, I also said that there was going to be a, a break in between when I start when I stopped that for um, uh, our, my vacation per se, and then the, when I would be back, and it was. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be because I actually was able to. Be, I was back and I was recording again on um, Mon well, I could have been recording on Monday. I took some time off then, but I was a little tired. But then I was back on Wednesday and I could have been recording and I couldn't because we didn't finish the project we were working on. And I, then, then I was back on Friday and took some time and, well, I'm, I'm probably putting this out tomorrow. I'm sure it's Saturday by the time that this is going to be seen, so you know I probably did finish. But it's close. I almost did not finish this project before it was actually time to... Finish the project. I got an extra brick. These down too. So, I have been trying. Uh, one of the holy grails, as far as things to make in this particular game, has been trying to get the biomes to work properly for fishing. And I will admit, it was a lot more complex than I actually thought that it was going to be. Um, I knew it was going to be complex, as it's one of those things that you see post for all the time on, on Reddit. I actually got that. Hold on, I got one more thing I gotta dump. One more, go back over here. Uh, and we're gonna put the, I'm gonna put this in costume because honestly, I'm never, it's not, I'm never, never gonna use it. Um, getting it so that you can get seven biomes in one area, actually, possibly 14 biomes in one area, if you count the surface versus underground. I'm not doing surface underground, we're not doing that. Getting that to work, that's hard. Um, there are a lot of complex things about the fishing mechanics, as far as biomes are concerned, that can drive you absolutely batty. Uh, for, first of all, actuated blocks count towards a biome. So if, if you try to just make it so that you turn it on and off by a switch, that does not work. You cannot just flick it on and flick it off. It, it, no, it, you, there is no flick on, flick off. There is no lever that you can flick to make it so that it suddenly is fishable. That does ah, crap, I got more stuff. That's awesome. I really, really want more stuff. Second, um, the biomes are screwy. Um, for instance, the mushroom biome, which counts as a mushroom biome after 100 blocks, does not count for mu hundred uh, a mushroom biome in, in um, fishing for 200 blocks. It's actually very inconsistent. But it can work. Uh, 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 also, the actual biome that it shows is different than the biome that it shows in the background. So you can't. So, uh, for instance, um, it will show jungle. Bef for the background, it will show jungle before it will show ice. If I if I if I got that right. But as far as fishing is concerned, it will take ice before it will take jungle, or something like that. Um, yeah, it's really, really screwy, so you can't even pay attention to the background of the screen to be sure that you have actually got the proper biome for the particular project at hand. So, it took a long time to... Oh, 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 and the corruption versus the hollow... Oh, this is a real pain in the butt. Okay, so, you need 100 hollow blocks to, for it to count as hollow. You need 200 corruption and or crimson blocks for it to count as crimson or, ho or, or, or corruption. And corruption takes priority over crimson. Evidently. Whatever. But if you have any of the hollow in the range of the corruption or crimson, they subtract from each other. So you can't have them within the same range. Meaning they have to be separated by a significant margin for them to work at all and you have to measure that out it's good it, and it's a big measurement it's like they got to be separated by a pretty large distance for it to work by the way i'm standing where everything works right now uh, actually I, i'm standing where everything works now 
Um, I put a lot of thought into this, and I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys everything that... Hi there, guy. Uh, you died now. I put a lot of thought into this. Uh, the free, there, there's a reason that this is um, these blocks. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, first of all, here is the corruption slash crimson strip. I, th uh, I actuated every single block. It took a long time. And I, I measured it out, and this is separated from the hollow over here by a very, very specific measurement. Basically, when you're standing in a spot, it will, it'll, it'll notice blocks for a biome up to 47 blocks away. And I had to measure that out very, very carefully. So if I, if I stand right here, right now, that, that is the edge of the hollow right there. You can see that's 48 blocks right there. So if I go here, not hollow. Hollow, not hollow. Hollow, not hollow. And if I do the same thing over here, I got this one separated out, so we got corruption, actually, crimson. Corruption, crimson. And I got this, and I had to put these two on the ends because they cannot be next to each other, but I did figure it out that this is actually set up so the wall backgrounds that we have here are actually the exact biomes that, that they are as far as fishing goes. Not as far as the background says, because some of the biomes are messed up. But as far as fishing goes, they are the exact correct biome. So, and it's only when I stand on this spot. If I jump, they are different biomes. Especially with these ones. Like if I stand here and I go jump. Let's see, right there. Gone gone and it took a while to get the measurement I, it, it was it was fun this is actually uh 45 blocks out here but there's a few extra blocks that are gonna make i'll, I'll show that in a minute so we got he corruption here crimson here ice biome here do not pay attention to the fact that the, there's jungle music playing right now and don't pay attention to the fact that the background is gone trust me from what i can figure out from all my measurements this spot right here now counts as a snow biome. This is jungle. And this is shroom. This is nothing. And this is hollow. And that is so cool. This, it, I just love the fact that what I just did actually works. We now have one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven fishable biomes directly next to each other, right in a line. And it, oh man, this took a long time to figure out. So let me go ahead and show the actual way that I got this to work. Okay, first of all, if you look up here, we do have a lot of blocks. These are all actuated, so they're not going to be all that visible. I, mean, I wish I had some background or something like that so I could show this a little bit better. Uh, let me hold, just hold on to a torch. I think that's probably going to be better. Okay. So let's just get a torch in my hand like that so this looks a little bit better. Okay, so of course, obviously right here we have the hollow. This is exactly 100 blocks. This one's the easy one. All I needed to do for the hollow was get 100 blocks straight in a row and have it measured out to that exact point. That's the easy one. Up here we have 199 blue shroom biome right here. So this is all shroom biome. That, it's all actuated. I, I actually spread that by getting jungle seeds, putting those down. And then hitting it with the Clementaminator until that went down. We have 299 snow blocks right here. Um, nice and simple. They don't spread to other biomes. So that's perfect. We have 79 Lizard blocks here for the jungle. Okay? Please note that I'm saying 199, 299, and 79. The actual requirements for the biomes are 200, 300, and 80. So 200 uh, shroom biome, 300 ice biome, and 80 jungle biome. The last block, oh, wait, 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 let me show this right here. Okay, so then over here we have the crimson and the corruption. And I made this a little checker pattern because I thought it looked cool. But the last block for ice, look right here, the ice, the jungle, and the shroom, the last block for those are right down here. Ice. I can't even see right now. Ice. So that's a snow block. Jungle. That's a lizard block. And shroom. That's a shroom block. And over here, this one right here is corruption. 
and this one right here is crimson. So I'm actually controlling the entire biome by making sure that this thing is all within range of the blocks over here, and then I'm controlling it with a single block way down here in the corner that's just barely within range. And the reason that I could, here, look, look this is kind of cool. If I go here, and I stand here for, for Shroom, and I jump, gone. And the reason that is, is because when I say that sucker is barely within range, that is literally right on the verge of within range. Now, I have to be really careful about this, too, because um, obviously uh, Crimson and Corruption, they will spread to the, the jungle bio. I don't know if they'll spread to actuated blocks or not. I didn't want to find out, so I made sure that I, I, I um, gave it a five block girth all the way across here, and that's why these two are up here and not down here. Uh, and that's why I, I had to jump higher to make those ones disappear, because I needed to make sure that they were away from that. Get out of here! You didn't even give me bacon! Jerk. Okay. But that, that's why these are over here and not down here, so they don't spread to any of this other stuff. I could probably at some point just take these and plop them down here since these are actuated now. I'm sure it wouldn't spread at this point, but eh, it's not worth really worth it. The only thing that's missing here... Well... Water? Yep. We're going to do that next. I thought I might do that part on camera. So we need to get 300 blocks worth of space to actually... Uh, uh, um, or 300 blocks worth of water in here to actually, you know, fish. Because that's how it works. Oh, hold on. I got... Hold on, let me think. Uh, it's, what, 150 by 150, right? 15 by 15 would have an internal blocks of, block area of 300, if I got that correct. So if we wanted to stand here, let's say that this is the center right here. So we want to have... Let's just start. It, it, it doesn't have to be... As, honestly, it doesn't have to be as perfect for this. Uh, let's go right here. So I was trying to think what we should actually do to ma make this thing look right. What... I mean, we, we, the, the actual style to go with. And Chad came up with a good one. And I, do, I think it was... I don't even remember what, who, who came up with it. I think it was either... I think it was Lyod. And he, 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 was, he was kidding. And I liked it. I think... For, for anybody who knows my Magic Farm series, Reginald is a big deal with us. And I love Reginald, and we, I'd like to bring Reginald with us over to this series in um, his slimy, formy goodiness. Because I miss the guy. So I think we're going to bring him over. Uh, we're going to bring him over in the only way I know how, and that's to build him. So this is going to be... That's actually one too many, I think. So if I go like that, that should have an internal structure of 15 by 15. I'm, be I'm being told other things. Guys! What would be a square? D don't tell me one wide and 300 deep. What would be a square? I might be, I might be wrong. 300 blocks would be 20 by 10. So, 15 by 15 would not be it? No, that would be 100. What would that be? I want it to be a square, guys. It doesn't have to be exactly 300. Anything above 300 would be good. I, obviously, this is a live stream right now, so uh, they, they are capable of responding to things, and it's a good thing. 15 by 15. There we go. 225 is 15 by 15. Okay, so it's not it's not that. Okay. Well, I'm glad that I asked. Let's go a little bit bigger then. So 18 by 18 would be o o over 300. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so 15, 16, 17, 18. Right like that. And this is why I have a chat, because I have... I, I can't I, I, I can't stop and do maths while I'm you know recording it because it's just awkward if I just kind of leave Terraria and leave you guys in the in the dark for a moment. It just it just doesn't sound right and I I, I, I feel bad. There we go. That's too much. Eighteen, right there. So right there. 
And that is all that I need to make the Reginald structure. There we go. Now, of course, if we're going to do this, I just need to make sure that we have an, an, a face on the center of it. So I figured that the best way we could do that is by building Reginald like this. Oh, crap, I forgot. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. we got to rip this up and do it again. This is not Reginald. It's too blue for Reginald. I'm thinking Reginald is more of a teal. So we need to do this again. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I, I know he's more of a blue slime, but I, here I think... Eh, I kind of like that one better. Reginald's going to be teal here. Yeah. And we'll give him nice pretty blue eyes to, to, to finish off the ensemble and all that stuff. Really, guy? You know, I did kind of exactly count out the amount of teal blocks I was going to need for this kind of sort of, but that's okay. I totally didn't need those ones. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. And just to make it so that we can get this properly done, I'm going to go ahead and switch this off for the moment. And kind of fill this in so that we can make sure that we are making Reginald proper. I'll fill this in with water later on. I'm not as worried about that right now. I just want to make sure that we can build it right now. So there we go. And we need to have... Oh, I need to get the wall for this. The wall... It, oh, I already got that right there. Okay, so we're going to go back down here. The wall is going to be this, obviously. And we're going to start by using the teal paint for the main part of the inside. But we're going to go ahead and change out some of it so that we can get a nice look of Reginald. There we go. Yeah. Now let me go ahead back upstairs and we're going to go ahead and get some paintbrushes and stuff like that to make this easier. I, could, I can do it without a paintbrush. I could just like break and replace and break and replace, but I think this is going to be a little bit easier, don't you? Go back down here. If I just use the paint for this. And let's switch this out for this. And this. And there. It's already looking watery, isn't it? I like it. Now, let's see. Hey, chat. Can I get some Reginalds going? So I can work on his face. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. So, let's see. Thank you, chat. That's going to make this much, much easier. So I'm thinking about like this. Yeah, this is looking good right now. Get a separation of one from the side of the wall. And it's going to have to be a slightly darker color because this is going to be surrounded by water, so it's going to be harder to see later on. And if we do a paint scrape just like... Let's see how Reginald does this. I think he's like this and like this. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I like that. And then we just need to get a little bit of a mouth going over here, just like so. Yeah! Reginald! Except for one thing. This is kind of backwards. Hold on, I gotta reverse this thing. Okay, so I want this 
to be like this. And then this to be like this. Yeah, that, that is definitely looking a lot better. I like it. Oh, wait, missed a spot. Beautiful. Okay, now we got to go back up here. Let's remove this. And, well, I did say that I would be doing the water off camera, but honestly, at this point, we might as well just go ahead and set it up and see how it looks, right? So let's see if I can get this to work right. It's going to be a slightly shorter episode today. I Honestly... The amount of work that I put into this episode to set it up, you'll have to forgive me if the episode is slightly shorter than normal. Cause it took a long frickin' time to set up this uh, this particular episode. This is all getting dyed too, it's, it's alright, I don't actually care. I, I can buy more dye. Although this is the deep dye, it's kind of a pain in the butt to make. That's okay, I'll live with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out the water bucket. I do not have an infinite water bucket. Um, it's the only thing that I have not gotten for fishing. It's honestly one of the reasons that I want to keep fishing a little bit. Because it's the only thing I freaking don't have. And it's kind of annoying. Okay, so where is that bucket? Did I not pick it up? Nope. Okay, here we go. The only thing I'm really missing from this, I would at some point like to get... Um, honey here like um you know get get some some honey blocks go or uh, get a little area i could fish for honey too um uh, i might just kind of extend the track out a little bit to the left and just have a little it, it, it's non-biome specific honey and lava is non-biome specific i can pretty much just kind of plop those down and just fish in them it's really not that big of a deal so we might do that Maybe I'll light up his eyes, too. If I, I, if I can get some nice blue lights and put them in his eyes, maybe use gems. No, I want to use gem spark. I wanted to make this one look very, very slimy. And if I put gem spark there, I don't think that would really look that great. It might. We could put some sapphire gem spark right where those eyeballs are. And then we'd have... The glowing eyes of Reginald staring at us the entire time that we fish. Well, now we're going to have to do that. Because that sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah! The glowing eyes of Reginald staring at us as we fish. I, I, I think that, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to do that. Okay, this is, oh, what, halfway there? No, not even. That's like, like a third of the way there. It's actually going pretty quickly. I was expecting it to take a, take a little while, but we got to place down 300 blocks, which means that by, by, by the way that Terraria works, we got to use this bucket about 900 times because I think it's spreading about a third every time that it does that. It's, it seems to work better when you raise it up a little bit, too. You notice that I, I didn't put it, like, right on top of the, the little spot below. Halfway there. I'm kind of I'm kind of dying to get this done so I can try fishing in it. But um, I I don't want to fish in it until it's you know full. May maybe I'll give it a little bit more and then we'll just go ahead and try it out and see if we actually are getting the biomes that we're looking for. But I no I'm gonna let it finish. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. I have a moment. The, the only biomes I'm really concerned about not being proper are those two in the center, the jungle and the ice. I want to make sure that those ones are proper. So if I can jump, fish there and get get the proper things out of them, then I, I, I think that I'll, that I'll be happy. I just need to go get some bait from upstairs. We also, I also got to remove some blocks that are directly below here. There's all that crap that's spawning on me because it's driving me absolutely insane. So, yeah. And need to get eight sapphire gem spark blocks. You know what? We gotta stop here because right now I can fly down there and fix that. Why can't I move? Why am I not moving quickly? Oh, because I'm not in a spaceship. But that, that, that was terrible. Okay, going upstairs for a second. Okay. Eight gem spark blocks. Yes. 
Do I have eight sapphire gem spark blocks? Do I have any sap gem 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 sap? I don't think I have any. Okay, let me check precious. Let me get one of these, and let me go up here. I need to find the glass. And thank you for glitching the sound on me, Terraria. I, I know you're confused. You often are. Turn that into wall. Thank you. Can I just put this away down here right now? Thank you. Okay, good. Going back. Oh, let's just go. Let's just go the quick way. And I think we could turn this off. There we go. If I just go here, it's just easier to just fly over that way, right? You died. Okay. Carefully now. Carefully. Oh, that was not carefully. Frickin'. Okay, gem spark, please. Uh, turn this off. An ever so light glow. Okay, turn this back on. Switch to teal. It's all. It's whatever the t in the top left for anybody that has, is wondering how I know which one's going to be. Bam. Oh, that looks spectacular. Yeah, that's good. Okay, where's my uh, bucket? Right there. Finish it. Finish it. The slime that matters. Maybe, maybe I will re-dye the outside of it to be non-teal. The, the teal behind the water actually looks really, really good. I do like that, but maybe the teal on the outside is a little bit off. Maybe I'll adjust that at some point. It's not that big of a deal, but I don't know. It might look a slight bit better, right? Maybe. When I remove that torch right there on the right, it might actually make it so that it looks perfect. There. Done. Okay, let's get the pig back. Oh, I gotta refill. There we go. Oh, that looks spectacular. Okay, and let's remove this down here. The Reginald Lake of Fishing! Okay, now I, let me go get some bait, just to test it out really quick. And see if we get the ice fish that I'm expecting. That's the only part that's really making me nervous. I really gotta harvest that again. I harvested it when I started working on this project for... for uh, really quick, but I haven't harvested it since then. So, I, I do need to harvest that again. Let's get a few of these. Oh, I'll just use the dream bait. I got a lot of that. There we go. And I don't know if I'm going to... I guess I can switch to my fishing gear since it's easy enough. Not like I can't beat bosses when I'm not in my fishing gear. Or when I'm in my fishing gear. It's just... Therapy, I know. Okay, so right here should be ice. Frost minnow! Here should be jungle, right here. Bass, doesn't mean anything. Neon tetra! That, that's jungle! That is jungle! Variegated lard fish. 
I think that's jungle. Crimson? Bass. I'm not wearing all my gear right now for fishing, so... Crimson Tigerfish! Corruption. Rockfish. Crimson Tiger... I think that the two actually work together with each other, so I think if I stood here long enough, I would get both. Ebon Key, there we go. That That's corruption. Okay. And... Of course, this is normal. We, we don't need to test normal. And this... Chaos fish? What the frick is a chaos fish? I'm guessing that's... Chaos elemental? Fish? Well, okay. But that works! It works! It is a perfect fishing area! It actually does all the things all the time! Alright, but that's gonna do it for right now, guys. Man, there was a lot of work that was put into that. I really hope that you guys enjoy that, and I hope that you guys... If you guys can come up with something like that, too. If you're gonna do that, the only adjustment that I would make to this... Um... There is a way... If you take that and you set it up right... I saw this on uh, Reddit. Someone did this. If you set it up right at this level here, and have it so that the water is right here, at the right above or at, at where it goes from surface to underground, you could fish both the surface and the underground at the same time, which I guess would be kind of interesting. But outside of that, that sucker is perfect. All right, but that's going to do it for right now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take out, take on the Frost Moon again and see what we can do with that. But that's it. You guys have a good one. What the frick does this stuff do?